something really bad happened to me last night. I was coming home and I got into my car and I sat down in my seat and then I felt something like crawl down my leg. So I look down at my seat and I see that I'm sitting on a spider web and I just know immediately that it was the spider that was like crawling down my leg because I sat on it. So I freaked out. I saw the spider, it was like this big. I smacked it with my shoe and thankfully it died. But can you imagine if it didn't die and it was just crawling around here? Oh my God, it was terrible. So note to self, make sure you check your car because this is not the first time that there's been a spider. One time there was a spider who made its web like across the entire back seat and I saw it in my rear view mirror. I looked back and I just saw like a huge spider web sprawled out right here. Traumatizing. Anyways, it's nine o'clock. Let's go into work. Let's have a good day. Yay. Okay, guys, I'm home from work. Today was really busy. Ah! Because it was the day after 4th of July, so I couldn't really film too much, but super exciting. The deck is basically done. Let me show you. Are you ready? Dun 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 dun. Wow. Wow, guys, I have no words. I am so proud of AJ for, for building this deck. I'm just speechless. We still have to paint the edges, but he did this whole border on the bottom. He had to dig up. You can see all this dirt that he had to dig up. It's just phenomenal. I'm so, so happy. I'm going to paint these edges sometime this week, hopefully in this video, so you can see the finished product. The only thing we need to do is find a metal roof so that this can be shady. There's a plane, hold on. I love this angle for me. I'm so happy. Ugh, the only, the only thing that keeps bugging me is this fence. I hate this fence, I need to get rid of it. Bird. But yeah, that's what we did this whole weekend. Um, AJ mostly I primed it but he painted it and like did everything so I'm just so happy so grateful and yeah now I need to figure out what I'm going to do for exercise today because I don't feel like doing anything but we must we must I'm home from the gym. I walked a mile and I have not been on my walking game. I've been on my biking game. So my hips are hurting really bad from just a mile. <sighs> Hate it. But I just made AJ another strawberry daiquiri. <laughs> He's been obsessed with them. And ever since we got the new blender, I've just been like grinding with the blending things. So I tell you guys we're using the shower now. I don't know if I told you, but we're using the shower and it's going well. It's going well. I don't know why it took us Two and a half years to use our master shower but there is a little bit of water that leaks through but it's honestly fine like you just wipe it up cried so hard at the ending of what's it called the summer I turned pretty AJ's doing the dishes if you can hear that but I just bawled my eyes out that was so sad I'm so sad good morning guys happy Wednesday I did this little hairstyle at least I tried so I like took out this front piece and then I did a ponytail and then I like put these two front pieces back so that it'll be like slicked in a different way I don't know it didn't come out great but what can you do I got my oat milk restock. I have this on auto ship from Amazon, but unfortunately it came like broken. So a lot of them are banged up. So I hope that they're not rotten because one time I had a rotten can or container and I almost threw up because I like made my coffee. I was drinking my coffee and it was rotten and I was like disgusted, but I need to clean up. This was all of my Amazon clothes that I showed you in my Amazon favorites video. And then this is like stuff for the deck. I cannot stop looking at it, you guys. It's just so beautiful. Oh, and I'm reading this book, Things We Never Got Over. I stopped reading that book, Safe Haven, because it was just so boring. Like there were way too many characters. And that's my pet peeve when it comes to books is like, don't introduce characters that are not important, especially characters that are like cops and detectives. Like I hate that dynamic. And I hate when the writer gets too into the cop dynamic with like other cops. I'm just like, I don't care. I wanna hear 
the drama. This book is really good so far. I'm about 20% of the way through. It's really funny, like the writer is really funny and I just really enjoy that because it keeps me interested. Because I'm a toddler and my attention span is three seconds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, business is growing. We get like three new patients a day. So it's, yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I was talking to Jessica. She told me that the renewal rates came in at eight something. That's insane. Okay, I just got off the phone with our insurance rep from my dad's company because our renewal is coming up and the rates are going up to 800 and something dollars a month. So love that. He's gonna get back to me with some other quotes for like individual plans for just me and AJ to see if we can like stop being on that insurance and we'll go from there, but yeah. Okay, I also wanted to say that this is hands down the best oat milk brand, Khalifa Farms. You can find it in store, but also on Amazon. It just doesn't taste like it has oil in it. And all of the other brands, including this one that I have now, they just taste like so oily and they're actually oily when you pour it out. You can tell that it's like a, almost like a gelatin type. And this one is so creamy and smooth. Obviously not sponsored, but I just had to say that because I hate every single oat milk besides this brand. Okay guys, so rolling into work today, we're starting off with a Morpheus 8 treatment. This is basically microneedling with radio frequency and it helps with skin tightening, pigmentation, fine lines and wrinkles, and it's truly one of the best treatments that you can do. Now I'm just cleaning a room, I'm replacing the pillowcases and putting things away, and I'm wiping down our Evolve applicators. Evolve is a laser, or I should say a radio frequency device, where it burns fat, tightens the skin, and builds muscle. It's actually insane. It's like doing 30,000 crunches in one sitting. So, super cool. I'm just wiping everything down. I am wearing gloves this time. You should be happy because I read all your guys' comments that I should be using gloves. So, this is what the room looks like. Okay, it is 5.42, but we have a VIP patient coming at... Six, so we're staying late today and yeah super busy day i think we've had like almost the most patients we've ever had in one day which is really good the business is growing like crazy i'm so oily but yeah gonna see this last patient and then go home i'm probably not gonna work tomorrow which is nice because i'll be able to like catch up on all the stuff i couldn't do today good morning guys happy thursday I'm not going into work today because Oh my goodness. I look like an egg. I didn't wash my hair last night because I got home so late and I didn't have a chance to work out. So I'm gonna work out this morning and then wash my hair. So it's gross. Don't look at me. And don't look at that pile of dirt. We're about to go to the gym and then I need to pack all my belongings because we are going on a road trip to North Carolina for an entire week with my brother and Chelsea. Why am I out of breath? I don't understand. We are going to leave this weekend, but I need to, and probably need to go to work tomorrow. And even if I don't go to work, I have to do two videos and a podcast before we leave. So super busy. So I want to get the packing out of the way. But how cute is this gym outfit? This is just the striped set with AJ's old Columbia shirt. I don't know. I just think it's cute. So let's go to the gym, shower, laundry, pack, be productive. made myself a coffee because I don't know what it is but whenever I work out in the mornings I just get so tired in the afternoon I made a melozio pod and it was it's a bigger pod so I don't know 
It's not my favorite, but it's fine. I'm just catching up on some emails and I wanted to share this new email subscription that I've been loving. It's called The Gist and I do have the privilege of working with them in today's video and it's the coolest thing ever. So it's a four times weekly newsletter that gets sent to your email and it basically tells you the gist of what's going on in the sports world. It's completely free. All you have to do is put in your email and the best part is that it's written by women and it's funny. So I've been signed up for over a month now and I'm not the biggest sports fan in the world, but I do want to know what's going on and stay up to date. So I like that this gives me the main bullet points of what's going on not only with women's sports but men's sports as well for example i just read their newsletter on wimbledon and they were talking about how the women have the white dress code and they can only wear white but that it's not practical for when a lot of these female athletes are on their periods and it's, it's just not, it's becoming controversial. So I would have never been in the loop if I didn't have the gist. Over 500,000 people are signed up to read the gist. And like I said, I just like it because I do wanna know what's going on in the world, but I don't even know where to start when it comes to researching sports. I don't like watching like ESPN or anything like that. So this is really awesome. Especially since sports can often feel male dominated I love that it's written by women. Again, their writing is super catchy. It keeps you interested and it's oftentimes funny. So make sure to sign up for the gist. Everything will be linked down below and you can also follow their socials. They have an Instagram where they post real-time updates of sports news if you're interested in that. And they have a podcast called The Gist of It where they talk about sports news and how it intersects with pop culture and social issues. So once again, make sure to sign up for the gist. It's completely free. Link will be down below. And yeah, I'm gonna finish my coffee. Then we gotta get packing. Okay, the first thing I like to do is put away all of my clothes. That way I can see all the clothes that I have and decide what I'm gonna bring. I just walked away for like 10 minutes and I forgot this was recording. <laughs> Okay, the next thing I need to do is put all of these little pads in all of my sports bras since these are all clean and you may be wondering why I even use these. Guys, it's just because I need them, okay? I know not everybody likes them, but I actually really like them and I need them. Just trust me on that. I am breaking out an eczema over here, okay? Ignore that. I don't feel like putting makeup on. Past 3 p.m., no makeup. No more makeup. The good thing about a road trip is that I don't have a limitation when it comes to how many clothes I can bring because we're driving so I can bring three suitcases if I want to. Not that we even have a big suitcase because we don't own one. However, I have a duffel bag. Let me show you. I have this duffel bag. This used to be my volleyball bag in high school. So this bag is very special to me. But right now it's holding all of our skiing gear, like our mittens and whatnot. So I'll have to empty that. And then you guys already know about my travel backpack. I'm obsessed with this thing and my carry-on. So I'm going to bring these three bags and I'm so excited. Okay, let me show you what I've done so far. I planned out my nicer outfits and guys, keep in mind, my wardrobe is the most simple. So these are not anything crazy or fancy, but I do have a few nicer pairs of shorts. These are the Aritzia ones with a white cropped tank. I have my Topshop jean shorts with a black cropped tank. This is the Aritzia dupe from Amazon, love that. These are some longer jeans with a brown cropped tank and my linen shirt. This will be like if we go to dinner. Even this is really basic, but our whole vacation is going to be chill. And then I'm also going to bring this towel shirt. This could go with any of these as well. And then for the day-to-day, -day, three pairs of athletic shorts, one pair of biker shorts, one pair of comfy shorts. I have my Lululemon matching set. I want to get a picture in this. <laughs> I gatekeep this from myself. Like, I will not let myself wear this too much. I have my black tank top, my gray tank top. These are for like hiking days. We're gonna be doing lots of hiking. I have multiple t-shirts. I'm gonna bring Jenna's tote bag. I wanna get a picture in this. I'm trying to be more intentional about taking Instagram photos. So for example, I'm bringing two hats because if I wanna get two different hiking photos, I don't wanna be wearing the same hat. My Lululemon belt bag, my one piece bathing suit from Amazon. I'm gonna bring these Madewell sneakers. I haven't worn these in a minute. I'm also gonna bring my Nike sneakers for hiking. These are for like, I don't know. These are pretty raggedy, but 
fine. Oh, and then I have four spro sports bras total. So three here and one here. I think that'll be enough. And then I think I'm gonna wear this black tank top for the road trip with these shorts. So I'm basically gonna wear a version of this outfit on the road. I think it's like a 14 hour drive and we're gonna start at like 4 a.m., 5 a.m. and go straight through the day so that we get there before night. So yeah, that's everything that I'm bringing clothes-wise. I'm basically bringing my entire closet because these are the clothes that I wear all the time. So I'm gonna put everything into the suitcase and the duffel bag and then let's see what else we're missing. Okay, so in this suitcase, I put all of my clothes in no particular organization and I have my socks in this, I have my hats. These are my underwear, so that'll be all my clothes. And then in this one, I put both pairs of sneakers. I've been using these shoe deodorizers because my shoes smell so bad. I'm gonna use these ones for hiking and then these will turn into my bad pair of sneakers. Does anyone else have like a good pair and then a bad pair? So after this trip, those are gonna be so dingy that that will be my bad pair and I am looking for a new pair of sneakers. I really wanna get some Converse, but I heard that that's kind of out of style, but I feel like they never really go out of style so let me know what your favorite sneaker is down below and I wanted to show you the snacks that we're bringing for the road trip so these are so good the cheese it's snapped and then I got this individually wrapped because if we're going hiking I want to be able to individually take one and put it like in my backpack or in AJ's backpack so that if we get hungry mid trail we can like have a snack I picked up this cold brew concentrate in vanilla I've never tried this but I've been meaning to try it apparently you just pour four ounces of this four ounces of water and you have cold brew I can hear you breathing I can hear you breathing yeah, you've been so lazy today. I'm not sure what the coffee situation is at the apartment, so I just wanna be sure that I have my coffee first thing in the morning because it's not a good day if I don't have my coffee. And this, I feel like this is gonna last me all week. Yeah, so I'm excited about this. And I think I'm gonna wear these uh, slippers on the road trip just for like on and off, easy on and off during stops. I put all of my snowboarding gear in here. I'll just put this in the corner for now. And in case you're wondering why we have two scales, I promise we're not psychopaths. <laughs> like, this one is broken, and this was the Fit Track one that I showed you guys way back when, so we just leave them there. Don't question it. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, what are you doing? As far as hair products, I'm gonna bring these away ones. Um, number one, because I'm obsessed with them and they're the perfect size. Another perk of doing a road trip and I'm gonna bring this full size dry shampoo. And then I'm just going to pack up my makeup in my travel bag. I will do this the night before. And what else, what else, what else guys? Oh, I have this little travel size of my self tanner so i'm gonna fill that up let me do that now how cute is this little bottle you guys this is the tan lux face drops okay i think that's good okay i just had some Publix sushi for dinner and for dessert i'm gonna have these i can't resist them can't resist and we're gonna watch TV. We're currently watching the, it's a show called The Upload on Amazon Prime and it's kind of weird. What? Oh, Emily in Paris, right? Please. Oh, I forgot about Emily in Paris. Oh, we're watching Emily in Paris. It's not the best. You guys, I'm so far away from this. Here we go. It's not the best show, but it's all I can do for now because I don't know what show to watch. Upload. The Upload is so Corn weird. Channel, but it's better than Emily in Paris. Happy Friday. I came home from work already. I filmed my updated morning routine for you guys this morning, so that should be coming out soon. I'm so excited. The whole video is gonna be voiceover, which I've never done before, but I love voiceovers, so it's a little bit of extra work, but I think it'll be worth it. Um, so that's why I didn't vlog today on this video, but I wanna show you 
the sneakers that I'm looking at. So Jenna recommended the Nike Metcon 4s. And I think these are very similar to the free runs because I love the free runs. That's what I have now. And I'm thinking of getting these ones. These are the ones that she has, I think, in a slightly different color. And I'm going to wear these strictly to the gym so those are the ones that i'm leaning towards and then i want to have a different pair of shoes for work that way i can give my shoes a chance to air out and so they're not like constantly moist a lot of you guys said to put deodorant on your feet and i don't know if i'm ready to go that extreme but it's definitely something i'll keep in mind the shoe deodorizers that i got on amazon they do work really well so i'm thinking to get these after my north carolina trip and then maybe get some, what are they, new balances for like my scrub days when I go to work. I don't know, but still comment down below your favorite uh, sneaker because I won't be purchasing these anytime soon. I'm going to wait till after my trip. So yeah. I also asked you guys it, on my Instagram if you like this, this uh, thrifted painting and 79.9% of you said that you hate it. So it's okay. The girls are gonna get it. I think that I'm going for a certain type of vibe and have I achieved it fully? No, so I think that's why you guys are confused. But have no fear, once the vibe is achieved, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, Rachel, we were so wrong, I'm so sorry, and I'm gonna be like, I forgive you, okay? So with that being said, I'm going to edit some videos and get ready for our trip. Make sure you subscribe if you wanna see the morning routine. Can't breathe through my nose. And the North Carolina trip, I'm so excited. I'm so happy, so grateful. Thank you guys for your support on all of these videos. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.